you know, I'm doing my best to like do this review without, you know, like not trying to display exactly how I feel. I'm just like a little bit, not so emotions, but kind of like this person that I know, like when I was younger, but I also know them from like social media. I, I didn't know that they passed away recently. And I was like, I was shocked when I found out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like how they passed away. People don't tell you, but sometimes if it's like something like serious that you know you don't want people to really know about being a business or your family business or your friend business you won't really say but based on what the person said i could be wrong so god please forgive me but i feel like this person committed please for like i said if, I, if i'm wrong please Lord, forgive me well a lot of people depression your, your mental state it's nothing to play with and different things like that now don't get me wrong the mental state is nothing to play with however if you have Jesus, that's why I always say this. And I know it's a food channel and I really don't care. People need to hear this. I'm not saying you can't be sad, you can't cry, you can't feel mad. I'm not saying any of that because I feel all those emotions. Even just today, <laughs> I was I was mad <laughs> at a situation. So I'm not saying that, however, when you have Jesus, you know how to combat that. You know how what the word of God say and they don't get to you you don't let yourself get to a depressive state to want to you know off yourself or just off anybody or just soak all the time or have self-pity or just look like everything like everything negative around you but you gotta look at the positive i had a quote that said even in a negative situation I always think of the positive there's always something positive to think about and i'm just saying god for this but a car accident. If a person, I'm not talking the ones that live, lose their life. However, I'm talking the ones like their car is total. Your car is total. No, don't get me wrong. You don't want your car total. Who wants their car total? However, if you still got your life, you still got a chance to get around with God. That's a blessing itself. Now, for the ones that do pass away, it's a that is so horrible for that. But if they if they repent it and get it up to God before, it's a positive. Now, if they didn't, so like when I heard about the news, it, it did kind of like made me feel a little emotional. I'm not really gonna lie about that. I'm not really gonna lie about that. It did make me feel a little sad. It's just so sad because, like, I said we grew up in church together, but I, I know I, le I knew them from church. They was under the same teacher, probably even longer. I'm pretty sure they knew about that church before I even started going. It was some years ago. So you knew how you know how to combat the the, the enemy. And also too, sometimes I use my social media to talk about God too. Not so much now, but sometimes I still do. No, I do still sometimes. But I did a lot then. I'm not saying you'll win everybody over with. However, I don't know. I don't know. But that's about it. Um, I just want to say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, that you give comfort to the person that lost their life in Jesus' name. Only you can give them comfort and joy and peace in the midst of the situation. Please, Lord, do it in Jesus' name. And let those who watch this, let them know that they can get through it as long as they have you, Jesus. And if a person commits they can't repent. If, even if they say, God forgive me for what I'm about to do, you have the intention. That's like pre premeditated. If you're going in the mind to think that you're going to pre off someone, you're, you're already thinking of doing it. So if you're already thinking of offering yourself, you're already thinking of doing it. So even if you say, God forgive me, you already committed a sin. So I'm just praying that anyone that might be feeling like that, that the, enemy, the devil, demons are bothering them and making them feel some type of way, feeling depressed, feeling like, like they're lonely, like there's nobody that care about them, that love them, that, you know, just different things. You love them, Jesus. Help them to know that you love them, that you're always there. Even if somebody leave them. I was just reading it, um, recently when Jesus' mother called him. And he, he said, he told the disciples, who is my mother and my father? The person that do the will of God. That's who my mother and father is. That's who my brother and sister in Christ is. 
not my natural ones. It's not to say to forget about them or anything like that. But at the end of the day, that shall bother you. I lost both my grandparents this the same year, a few years ago. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I do, even recently, I, I get emotional, I cry, but I don't stay there. I don't get myself in a depressing state. So I'm praying that everybody who's going through things, whether they lost a loved one, whether they lost this or that, at the end of the day, don't, don't let it put them in a font to where they feel depressed, where they feel like they gotta get rid of themselves. Because you love them, God, and you will make a way for them. So I pray that everybody that hear this know that in Jesus' name I pray, amen.